Don't embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Power and feeling powerless and not. Solange is really sticking it to Jay-Z and she's not planning on letting up anytime soon. Their beef has been going on for a while, but Solange is getting bolder in calling out Jay-Z. She just went after him for embarrassing Beyonce. Remember when Jay-Z criticized the Grammys for not giving Beyonce an Album of the Year award last year? Well, Solange found that super embarrassing and called out Jay-Z for humiliating Beyonce. The Carter family drama is about to get messy, and you won't believe how crazy it's about to get. Solange thinks Jay-Z should have respected Beyonce's artistry and given his award to her. It's becoming clearer every day that Solange isn't Jay-Z's biggest fan, even though they've been family for like 16 years. From the start, fans notice Solange seems disinterested in their relationship and not on Jay-Z's good side. Back in 2014, after the Met Gala, the infamous elevator incident went down. Solange was throwing hands at Jay-Z while Beyonce just stood there looking dazed and confused. It was a moment that shook pop culture. And since then, it's been clear, Solange is no longer hiding that she's not Jay-Z's biggest fan. She's been coming for him, and it's all in the open now. Knowles, Beyonce's sister, lunges at her brother-in-law. The moment Solange went hands-on with Jay-Z was like the ultimate confirmation that she's not a fan of him. Rumors have circulated that she got furious upon discovering Jay-Z's alleged infidelity, providing a possible explanation for her intense reaction. Reports suggest that Solange has a history of confronting Jay-Z's supposed side pieces publicly. There's this one incident where she supposedly attempted to pick a fight with Olivia McFaller, who was among the very few to admit being pursued by Jay-Z while he was with Beyonce. Olivia denied any romantic involvement with Jay-Z, but some believe she might just be avoiding the Bayhive's wrath. She shared an encounter at a Miami restaurant where Jay-Z reportedly sent his bodyguard to ask for her number. Later, they met up, but Solange intervened abruptly. Olivia recalls thinking she was about to face a beatdown, emphasizing Solange's protective stance towards her sister. While Solange may tolerate Jay-Z as a brother-in-law, there's a clear dislike for him. She reportedly disapproves of how he allegedly disrespects Beyonce, not just through his affairs, but also by making controversial statements. For instance, at the recent Grammys, Jay-Z accused the awards of bias against Beyonce. Word on the street is that Solange believes Jay-Z embarrassed Beyonce with such remarks, causing her sister to face criticism on social media. For those not up to speed, Jay-Z stirred controversy by calling out the Grammys for their perceived bias against Beyonce. Despite her numerous nominations and wins, she has never secured the coveted Album of the Year award, a fact that has raised eyebrows considering her dominance in the music scene. So it seems like Solange is not just protecting her sister from physical altercations, but also from the emotional toll of public scrutiny caused by Jay-Z's actions. The Bayhive, known for their intense support of Beyonce, has been fervently accusing the Grammys of displaying blatant disrespect towards their queen. Asserting that the awards intentionally held back Beyonce to maintain a certain status quo, in the latest Grammy nominations, Beyonce found herself absent from the list, and the Bayhai believes this omission is strategic, attributing it to the lack of new music releases in the past year. Let's rewind a bit and delve into the history of Beyonce's Grammy journey. Throughout her illustrious career, Beyonce has garnered numerous Grammy nominations, including highly coveted Album of the Year nods for iconic albums such as I Am Sasha Fierce, Beyonce, Lemonade, and the more recent Renaissance. Fans have consistently rallied behind her, especially during the Grammy ceremonies where her albums, particularly Lemonade and Renaissance, were expected to bring home the coveted Golden Gramophone. However, disappointment ensued when she didn't secure the wins, leading many to believe that she was unjustly snubbed. Last year witnessed a storm of chaos within the Bay Hive when Beyonce, yet again, missed out on major Grammy victories. The fan base erupted in a full-blown rampage, vociferously expressing their displeasure and dragging the Grammy Academy through the mud for what they perceived as a grave injustice. Amidst the Grammy drama, Renaissance made a significant impact on the music scene, making a powerful debut by selling a staggering 332,000 copies in its opening week. Critics were quick to acknowledge the album's brilliance, 
showering it with praise, and it solidified its position in the top 25 of music charts. Beyoncé, undeterred by the Grammy disappointment, received nine nominations last year, spanning across categories like Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Song of the Year. Many anticipated that these nominations would translate into another Grammy win for the iconic artist. Some even speculated that she might surpass the record for the most Grammys ever won by an individual, a record set at 31 awards at that time. Beyoncé was in close competition with the legendary Quincy Jones, both holding 28 awards. Renaissance did indeed deliver, securing four Grammy wins and elevating her total Grammy count to an impressive 32. Despite the triumph, there lingered a sense of dissatisfaction among fans over Beyoncé missing out on the most prestigious categories. The controversy reached a peak when Harry Styles clinched the Album of the Year award for Harry's House, sparking heated debates and leaving many feeling that Beyoncé had been unjustly robbed of the accolade. Jay-Z, incensed by this perceived snub, took the rare step of granting an interview where he expressed his deep disappointment with the Grammys. He passionately argued that Beyoncé's renaissance deserved Album of the Year, emphasizing its significant cultural impact. Jay-Z articulated how the album's tracks became anthems in clubs, the remixes were sensational, and it had an undeniable influence on the global cultural landscape. The impact of an album goes beyond just music. It becomes a source of inspiration for people worldwide, sparking creativity, and leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. This sentiment was passionately expressed by Jay-Z as he slammed the Grammys for what he perceived as bias against Beyoncé. In his view, an album that inspires creativity should undoubtedly be recognized as the Album of the Year. Jay-Z's criticism was aimed at the Grammys, asserting that while music is inherently subjective, there is an expectation for the awards to be within the ballpark of what truly deserves recognition. He reminisced about the artists who influenced him, such as Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder, emphasizing the desire for the Grammys to get it right due to the profound love and respect for the music industry. The accusations of bias against Beyoncé by the Grammys gained traction when reports surfaced that some Grammy voters openly admitted to not voting for her on purpose simply because she is Beyoncé. According to one voter, there seemed to be a trend of voting against Beyoncé, driven by a desire for change and a perception that she consistently wins Grammys. This revelation raised questions about the objectivity of the Grammy voting process, as it appeared to be influenced by factors unrelated to the quality of the music. Many individuals felt that Jay-Z chose an inopportune moment to voice his points, and one notable critic, allegedly Solange, shared this sentiment. Allegedly, Solange believes that Jay-Z placed Beyoncé in an uncomfortable position, portraying her as greedy and ungrateful for her 32 Grammy wins. Solange pointed out the apparent hypocrisy in Jay-Z's addressing Beyoncé's Grammy achievements without acknowledging his own absence from the Album of the Year winner's circle. According to reports, Solange isn't holding back and insists that Jay-Z's actions have greatly embarrassed Beyoncé. She is evidently weary of witnessing her sister being publicly humiliated by her own husband. Fans have echoed Solange's sentiments and have been openly dragging Jay-Z for seemingly embarrassing Beyoncé. Some have even drawn comparisons to the infamous Will Smith Oscars incident, urging both Jay-Z and Kanye West to exhibit better behavior in public. The consensus among fans is that Jay-Z's complaints about Beyoncé not winning the Album of the Year despite her 29 Grammy wins comes off as cringeworthy. Many find it uncomfortable to witness Jay-Z airing grievances about Beyoncé's Grammy achievements in a public setting. The controversy surrounding Jay-Z's remarks has prompted discussions about whether he may be projecting his own frustrations about never winning Album of the Year onto Beyoncé. While messy and uncomfortable, the situation has sparked a broader conversation about the dynamics within high-profile relationships and the potential challenges faced by successful couples in the public eye. One fan even said, Beyoncé has enough Grammys. I'm not going to shed any tears for her for not having one for Album of the Year. Another person said, The expression on her face and body language said it all. She looked like she said, No, he didn't. Yes, he definitely embarrassed her. And another one said, it's just greed at this point. Imagine, crying for even more awards when you have like 30 plus already. Other people deserve shine too, and they've been blocking other people's careers and attempting to overshadow other artists for decades now. Give it a rest. 
But what are your thoughts on this? Comment down below. And while we wait for further updates, make sure to watch our next video for more celebrity drama you never knew you needed.